Hi everyone, this is Shalu Kumar again from our skin nurse training. Cambridge, I'm an experienced our skin nurse trainer for the NMC OSCE exam in UK. Uh, NMC registered nurse with lots of clinical and educational experience in um, mentoring and uh, supporting overseas nurses and also the pre-registration nurses. Um, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe and also keep sharing it with your other colleagues or friends who may be preparing for an MC OSCE exam. So today's video. So we're going to look at another NMC topic today for your exam. So we're going to be looking for uh, ectopic pregnancy scenario. So we're going to look at how to conduct very clear and simply, uh, simple and clear assessment um, as per the marking criteria set by the NMC for your one of your scenarios for API, which is ectopic pregnancy. So that's what we're going to look at, what the scenario will look like, what you are uh, expected to do in this assessment station for ectopic pregnancy how do you conduct day what things to watch out what mistakes not to make so we're going to look at all those okay so that's what we're going to cover today in this video so let's get started so ectopic pregnancy is one of your api scenario okay so i would count that more as a surgical scenario because the patient will be going to theater later on okay so it's a surgical scenario you need to read the patient overview of recent history form prior to starting the station to gain an understanding of your patient diagnosis and medical condition now this needs to be read within your 20 minutes okay so there is no extra time so the total 20 minutes including reading time to perform the station so everything has to be covered in 20 minutes so as soon as your time has start the first thing you should or can do is just read your scenario okay it doesn't need to be read to the patient means actor or your examiner you're reading it for your own benefit to get to know your patient better so i've just kind of put an example scenario on your screen so this lady has come with right side uh, acute abdominal pain due to ectopic pregnancy so she's gonna go to theater later on for the roof with uh, sorry with uh, for the uh, for the removal of the uh, ectopic pregnancy and the tube uh, so she's gonna go to theater later on for that so she you will be preparing her for theater uh, and uh, that's kind of her social history past medical history social history and medication and allergy status will be given to you so I'm not saying your scenario is exactly going to be the same uh, in your exam but something similar okay so this lady has been trying to get pregnant for a while and now obviously she's going to feel emotionally quite low because she's going to lose this pregnancy so that's another side of a psychological aspect of the scenario okay so make sure you keep that in mind as well so that's just kind of your overview history form so uh, what we expect to do now so what do you need to do in these 20 minutes of course you need to read your scenario uh, you need to take patient vitals because that's part of uh, every assessment station that's a part of the marking criteria that you need to um, complete a news chart you need to also complete a to e assessment you also need to verbalize your monitoring frequency and escalation plan for your news policy and then you're going to carry out the holistic assessment okay so you need to look at patient physical needs psychosocial spiritual and sexual so that's uh, also the part of your station so that's the same thing when you do an assessment station uh, in your exam uh, your examiner is expecting you to do the same thing which order you do in doesn't really matter that much as long as you hit all those main points okay so your a to assessment your complete set of vitals plotting the vitals taking the vitals correctly plotting them working out the correct news frequency and escalation and then completing a holistic assessment okay so that's what you need to do in these 20 minutes uh, and of course it's the holistic part of the assessment which will then need to adapt to your given scenario and diagnosis okay uh, documents to complete you will be completing news chart in this scenario lots of people ask me lots of nurses ask me is there anything else other risk assessments because she's going to theater yes we're going to go through verbal 
kind of checking things with our patient prepare them for theater but there is no extra special document to complete in here so so don't get confused in the exam because that's where a lot of nurses are getting confused making mistake expecting themselves to fill in a pre-op list or anything there isn't anything like that the only document examiner is going to mark for you will be the news chart okay um, so um, so that's the, uh, uh, the document you complete. Um, rest of the things we will verbalize in our holistic assessment, but the only document you're examining, you need to complete physically and examinal will mark is still the news chart, okay? So look at, now we're going to go ahead, of course, you know, you imagine you have done your AT assessment, vitals, you have plotted the vitals, completed the news chart, told your patient what is the news frequency and escalation plan, you've done all that. Now you're to do her holistic assessment, you talk about her nursing needs. So so what kind of things, what kind of things you can look for into this particular scenario, what is important things to cover. So she might be anxious for the upcoming surgery, okay, so that's the first thing to think about. Uh, kind of, I've just changed, like kind of put into pre-op and post-op, so you kind of need to think about both aspects because you are going to be looking after her pre-op but you're also preparing her for theater so it's the combination of the two so she might be anxious so ask her what uh, her, why she's anxious is it due to anesthetic is there any other worry that's why she's anxious about the surgery so then you can actually think to uh, um, address that issue okay so need to be safely prepared for surgery so that's because this is a surgical scenario that goes without saying that you need to think about does your patient understand and the fasting instructions uh, do, have you covered your uh, uh, deep vein thrombosis kind of uh, thing so you, have you uh, spoken to your patient that uh, the surgery increases the risk of blood clots in the legs so you will be applying some anti-embolytic stockings to your patient legs before they go to theater does your patient understand the procedure they are having done and have they signed a consent form so simple things is there anything they would like to lock in a locker before they go to theater any valuable so and the fasting instructions as well how long they need to fast for food and fluid so that's all uh, the things you need to be discussing with your patient for safe preparation for surgery. And then uh, is your patient already in pain? So you really need to think about do they need um, pain uh, relief because they still need to be comfortable even before going to surgery. And then the post-op things are like discussing with your patient what is the, uh, you know, what's the plan for surgical site pain that you're going to give them regular pain relief. You will come and check their pain. Uh, score will give them regular pain relief will keep them comfortable by changing the position regularly and all that okay um, also your patient may be anxious about developing surgical site infection so you do really need to talk about how to prevent surgical site infection by keeping the wound clean uh, you will say that the nursing staff will change the dressing uh, using a septic uh, non-touch technique and uh, uh, leave the dressing in place and keep it dry uh, and to advise your patient to have uh, a high protein well balanced diet so to promote wound healing so those are the things we will be talking about uh, to prevent infection and promote wound healing so you kind of cover both sides of the equation because your patient is pre-op now but they are going to theater so do keep that in mind so that's kind of the physical part of the holistic assessment now uh, on the next screen don't forget you still need to look through the psychosocial needs of your patients virtual and sexual aspects because that is part of your assessment station so you still need to be looking if your patient is obviously your scenario is saying the a patient is feeling emotionally low about losing this pregnancy do they need some kind of counseling so you could discuss that offer them that spiritual need do they need to pray before they go to theater or do they have any other religious need and then the sexual aspects where to provide, uh, you know, to protect their sexuality and privacy. Would they prefer a male or a female carer when it comes to their kind of personal hygiene needs? Because they may need extra help with personal hygiene. 
because uh, they will be obviously needing extra help when they come back from theater. They will no, may not be independent with personal hygiene. So you will need to help them that. And do they have any preference uh, to protect their sexuality and privacy for a male or female carer? So, you know, it, I guess that's the simple and easy way to look at the scenario. So that's how you need to complete the assessment station, keeping in mind and not making mistakes like, you know, that keeping in mind the patient is going to theatres is really important to discuss certain safety aspects with your patient on that. Uh, so that's really, really important. Also setting the scene of how they will be looked after post-operatively and uh, um, exploring the reason if they are anxious. Could you arrange another um, meeting with the surgical team? Will that help with their anxiety and stuff? Uh, can they be given any like uh, pre-medication to before they go to theater? You can ask the patient offer that that you can check with the surgical team if they can be given uh, anything to calm them down before surgery. But those are the things you could discuss with your patient if the patient was really anxious before surgery. So, um, so I hope that all makes sense. And I hope it gives you kind of overview of what you need to do in this station and, and keep you safe in your practice that you don't miss any important aspects of both the pre-op and post-op. Uh, so I hope you like the video. If you do, please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel. Uh, we gave a full uh, adult OSCE training and also pediatric face-to-face -face online combination of the two. We do also provide reset support uh, if you did training somewhere else and you didn't pass your full exam. Um, you know, we are more than happy to help you and support you in your reset exam. Uh, so and go and check out our review on our Google page what nurses have been saying about our training and visit us on oskinastraining.com email us on oskinastraining at outlook.com I will soon be back with another video for you so bye for now